most any video you see on YouTube that talks about Thrivecart, you can pretty much expect to be an affiliate link because they're known to have a pretty strong affiliate program. However, I'm going to give you a video here about why I have recently switched away from Thrivecart. Story coming up. Hello there, David Risley here with Block Marketing Academy. And once again, as a reminder, if you are into building a WordPress-based business, one that's actually gonna move the needle but keep it all in-house and under your control, that's what we discuss here, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. As some of these YouTubers like to say, smash the like button. Hey, if you like to smash stuff, go ahead and try it. All right, so let's talk about Thrivecart and WooCommerce. Now, I started off by saying that, you know, a lot of people, they get out there and they talk about uh, Thrivecart and they're usually doing a, a review and they want to promote it as an affiliate. And, and I am an affiliate for Thrivecart and I also want to be very clear, I am not in any way, shape or form negative on Thrivecart. I really like Thrivecart. I've reviewed it in the past. I used it for a while. And my opinion on Thrivecart has not changed. The truth of the matter though, is that not every scenario out there is Thrivecart the right fit and that's what I want to talk to you about. The magic power of Thrivecart is the fact that it's super powerful and it's simple. You buy Thrivecart because A, they've got a really solid license option right now with the lifetime plan and I don't know how long that will go. I kind of thought the lifetime plan would be over a long time ago but it's still running. I know eventually it will end. Who knows when it's going to be. But besides that, it's a super powerful third-party hosted shopping cart. It does all the things that most of us are going to want. It's got the, the really cool order bump capability. Um, it's, it handles your subscriptions for you. Pay what, for, pay what you want pricing, uh, subscription management. Uh, you know, it, it, it does it. Coupons. It's got a built-in affiliate program. It's a super flexible and powerful piece of software. There's absolutely no doubt about it. And so there are people out there, many, who, they don't have another shopping cart and so they go Thrivecart's going to make my life easier I'm going to buy it and that's what I did I was coming off of member mouse at the time and Thrivecart looked super attractive because it just looked like it was going to make my life easier and it did actually because member mouse I mean there were some things about member mouse I liked but the thing is is Thrivecart is easier and it's absolutely an easier platform so why did I switch then? Well, that's the story. Let me, talk, let me talk about my scenario here. The Blog Marketing Academy, the site that you're on right now, is a membership site. It's a WordPress-powered membership site. Everything here operates on top of WordPress. The data that is that comprises your guys' membership profiles all exist inside of WordPress. WordPress is a very known platform. It's the most con powerful content management system out there. If we look at WooCommerce, it's the most common shopping cart software out there. It happens to be created by the exact same people that created WordPress. So there's obviously a marriage there. Now, when I've got all of my data, my entire tech stack here, pretty much built on top of WordPress, the fact that Thrivecart, as cool as it is, is not part of WordPress starts to become a bit of a problem. Where it becomes a problem is in anything related to account management and the shopping cart, where it resides, things like that. For example, I can't integrate a Thrivecart shopping cart in with this site. I can embed a shopping cart uh, checkout form. But, you know, it's a little bit of a nerdy experience. You know, I've got to copy and paste this embed code. If I want to pass any data into Thrivecart, I have to, like, do some fancy stuff with the variables and passing information through. Whereas if it was all in WordPress to begin with, I don't have to do any of that because all the data is already here. Not only that, pretty much every uh, option I might want to use out there already has built-in integrations with WooCommerce because it's all right here on top of WordPress. So the massive reason that I switched is because Thrivecart is not per part of WordPress. It obviously never will become part of WordPress. Um, it's passing data into the checkout 
is an is kind of a geeky thing. Um, even when I pass the member's name and email address into the checkout, the, the information was still there on the checkout form. There's no way to hide the checkout fields. There's no way to keep them from overwriting it. Like what if one of my existing members decided, eh, I'm gonna use a different email address on this, this so I can send the receipt someplace else. Well, Thrivecard will let them do it. But then there's a complete mismatch between that sale and that member record because they're not logged in. That's the thing about Thrivecart. It's transactional in nature. It sees each sale. It sees who did it. So you can look up which customer and how many orders they have based on their email address or what have you. But it's not a customer-centric database. It's a transactional database centric database and not only that it's just not part of wordpress and so pretty much everything about letting members manage their own accounts uh view their past orders um cancel subscriptions if they wanted to update a credit card on file me even managing those orders on the back end none of it takes place inside of wordpress and when you're running a WordPress-based membership site, that starts to become a real drag. I've, had, I, I've like right off the top of my head, I'm aware of one membership site that used to use Member Mouse, just like I did. I, th I think he still uses Member Mouse, but he moved all of his sales over to Thrivecart because he wanted simplicity. He didn't want to deal with the bull crap about Member Mouse, but he still got Member Mouse sitting there because Thrivecart and Member Mouse talk together fine, but. All, all the orders, all the subscriptions, everything is now managed over on Thrivecart. If, so, if a member wants to manage their account, they have to go jump through a hoop and get into what's called the customer hub. And the customer hub does not look like your website. All you can do is put a little logo at the top of it, but it's very clearly Thrivecart. You can't change the look or feel. You can't do very much with it whatsoever. And so it comes down to the fact that I can provide a better member experience with way more power, I have more control over the branding. I can control the look and feel of every single page of the funnel. Um, and I can remove all the friction from, from members placing orders. It, like WooCommerce even has a much better integration with Stripe where we can do card on file billing. So if an existing member has already purchased something, using Stripe and they want to buy something else like more uh, service credits or something, they just, they just hit the button and they can be, they could bill without having to re-enter their credit card information. And I'm not storing any of that. It's all taken uh, place securely via Stripe. But the thing is Thrivecart doesn't do it. And it's mainly because it's a transactional centric system as a hosted shopping cart and not customer centric but when you're running a membership site it needs to be customer centric it needs to be based around member accounts and there's an inherent disconnect there when you're trying to use a shopping cart which is hosted someplace else now there's no doubt that when you switched to using woocommerce you know life looks different you've got a lot more flexibility a lot more power but you know it's it's more work because you're you're now up you're now responsible for your own online store. You got to make sure it works right. Now WooCommerce is a pretty darn powerful shopping cart. I mean it's used by millions of websites. It's extremely it's a, as well supported as WordPress itself. It's got a sea of add-ons for it. It integrates with almost every page builder, uh, any online co course platform. So in a lot of ways, your life is a lot easier. It's just that you have to take a little bit more responsibility because when you're using a system like Thrivecart, they're responsible for, for all the hosting, for the security, for uh, updates, all of it. Uh, you know, whereas with uh, when you're using WooCommerce, you've got to update it like it's typical WordPress plugin and kind of make sure that things flow right. There's also capability differences, obviously, because Thrivecart has order bumps. It's got uh, beautiful upsell funnels built into it. WooCommerce does not. OK, now you can make WooCommerce do those things. OK, but it, to make them w work and look like Thrivecart, you're going to need some add ons. You're going to need. Um, something like cart flows or launch flows or Woo funnels or something like that in order to make WooCommerce 
have the same type of user experience with order bumps and stuff like that. Um, if you want to do uh, subscriptions and run membership sites, well, you know, that's all built right into Thrivecart in terms of managing their billing. Now, of course, as I just said, there are hoops that members have to jump through in order to manage their accounts through Thrivecart. But it is possible. Uh, I just don't like the way it works and looks. Um, with uh, WooCommerce, you, you can set all that up, but it's just you've got to make it work. And you're going to also need the add-on of WooCommerce subscriptions just to be able to do recurring billing because you're not going to have it otherwise. Um, if you want to do pay-what-you-want pricing, which is uh, some people like that for as a pricing model, um, you you know, Thrivecart has that built in, but you will need an add-on for that. Um, it does have coupons built right into WooCommerce, so you're good to go there, but you can kind of see how it works. You can make WooCommerce do almost anything that you want it to do. It's just that you're going to have to probably add some add-ons and additional things onto it to make it into what you want. And so with that being said, way more powerful way more flexible as somebody who loves you know making my site do exactly what i want the way that i want it Woo, woocommerce is right up my alley i found thrivecart to be limiting it's extremely simple it's very hands-off in a lot of ways but it was limiting and there are things that i wished it would do and you have to sit there and twiddle your thumbs and just kind of hope they get around to it like off the top of my head, like I don't accept cryptocurrency currently on this website. I may because I'm a massive, massive fan of crypto. But I've seen in the Thrivecart group many times people are like, hey, are you going to like have Coinbase integration? Are you ever going to allow us to accept Bitcoin? It just doesn't. And you have no choice because it's a centralized platform with one company developing on it. You have no choice but to just sit around and wait for them to get around to it. Uh, when it comes to Fluent CRM, I'm a big fan of Fluent CRM. I'm actually switching my own email list hosting to it. A lot of people like Fluent CRM right now. Thrivecart does not work with Fluent CRM. We've got to wait for them to get around to it. With WooCommerce, these issues do not exist because there's not one company dealing with all that stuff. It's also all built on top of WordPress. So there's some things that are just naturally integrated without having to do anything. Um, you know, and you bring other, other tools to the, to the mix, like WP fusion. Oh my word. That thing works so beautifully with WooCommerce. It's crazy. So these are the reasons why I have switched to WooCommerce. Okay. So the point of this video was not to do a review of Thrivecart, not to do a feature by feature comparison between the two. It's kind of pointless. You've seen all that stuff before. I just wanted to paint the scenario of when I don't think Thrivecart's the right fit. Thrivecart is a great third-party, hosted, simple, powerful shopping cart system. No doubt about it. That being said, let's not forget that sometimes taking on a little bit more responsibility and using something that's like WooCommerce just is the better way to go. If you're selling physical products, by the way, I think you need to stick with something like WooCommerce. Uh, you know, that's not where Thrivecart goes. Thrivecart is pretty much built for digital marketing, uh, for selling digital products and services, okay? But if you're a membership site owner, like I am, if you're looking to put together a membership site, strongly look into something like WooCommerce. Certainly, it's not the only game in town. There are membership site plugins that will take care of billing stuff for you. Um, you know, there are other options out there. Um, I think WooCommerce is probably the most flexible and most powerful way to go. A lot of it's because of the flexibility that you have when you start combining it with other things that I think even makes a lot of the membership site plugins out there look like they're stupid, okay? And maybe I'll talk about that more in other videos, but that is, this is why I have switched over to WooCommerce. That's the story behind it. Now, I will say this. If you, uh, want, if you already have a Thrivecart account and you're happy with how it works, stick with it. It's a great platform. My opinion on Thrivecart has not changed. I, I didn't even really want to switch away from Thrivecart. I just kind of had to, given the nature of the business here. Um, yeah, but if you want to look into WooCommerce, um, I know that right off the bat, it can feel a little bit more complicated. Um, but it's really not. It, don't, don't be scared away from it. I, I thought it might be too beefy and all that. It's really not that big a deal at all. 
Not only that, I can help you get it to do what you need it to do, all right? So if you have any questions about these two products, how they compare, um, any back-end questions about it, feel free to ask me. You can go below in the comments and ask, and I'll answer you. You can also pop over into the Blog Marketing Academy community asking there. Uh, then, of course, if you want my direct help making WooCommerce do what it is that you want it to do, um, we've got the technical services over at Blog Marketing Academy, and I can just help get in there, and I can help you get this stuff set up directly. Okay, so that's the story. Talk to you later.